thought that was a little bit better video. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see me a little bit better. Um, so I'm just finishing up the carrots. I thought I'd just keep going live because it's, I mean, this is my live day. So this is my time to talk to you guys. And if you show up, then you show up. If you don't show up, it's okay. You can watch it later. Um, but I don't know about you guys, but I've been having kind of a, a rough time lately. I've been isolated for so long and sometimes you miss your family and I miss Mendoza, um, and I know that, you know, when you're hanging out with your family too long, you start to get frustrated and stuff like that, but, you know, I try not to get too frustrated. Owen's at a, Owen, my baby, he's at a very young age where it's mommy, 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 and, um, it's okay. It just... Mommy's been needing to do stuff for herself, like garden. And so start my garden for my Guzik Earth Clubbers. I miss you guys. You know, um, they're still doing, they're still going ahead with the plans for the playground. And um, hi, hi, Miss uh, Dr. Davis, how you do? <laughs> yeah, I miss my mom. I miss everybody. It's hard, you know, but... They're still going forth with the plans for the, the playground. I haven't heard anything about them changing plans, so that's awesome. So in the fall, you know, we got some stuff to look forward to, you know. We have the garden. We have um, the new playground coming in. So, you know, guys, we just got to keep focusing on ahead. You know, we can't keep dwelling on things. You know, it's, it's going to be different, but sometimes different is better, you know, and it, it makes us rethink things, you know, it makes us rethink how we've been doing things and how we can make things better. And so, you know, things are tough right now and I, and we all know that and all your teachers know that. And especially this week, I know we're, we've been, you know, people have been showing their appreciation and being awesome. Oh, hi, Miss Park. Um, well, I said in the first video, I, I'm planting carrots all along here because you know how our kids love those carrots. They love seeing them come out. So I'm hoping that um, I can um, show those pretty soon, you know, in a couple months. Yeah, they're going to be great for the community. I think um, our um, playground, especially, you know, well, I'm not going to tell them what's in it because I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> But, you know, we got some things planned for them that are going to be amazing. So, and an outdoor classroom area, which is going to be great for our teachers. And just, you know, we got to spread out more. We can't be in these buildings more. We got to, we got to spread out. We got to breathe a little bit more and got to teach in different ways. And it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. But I got carrots over here along the side. And then I'm going to put dill and cilantro on this side. I, don't, I really only like to plant things that I'm actually going to eat or that I like because if I, if I don't eat it, then what's the point of it? And then I have some spinach I'm going to plant right here in the middle of my garden. So this is a really easy garden to do. I mean, it just takes a little bit of labor. So um, you go to, you, you wear your social mask, you wear your little masks and you go, and this garden is kind of a, I think it's probably, I would say about like six foot by, no, five foot five foot by five foot garden it has these individual parts for the cinder blocks so it's 12 cinder blocks and you line it before you put there and i think i've used four big bags of soil so if you can get that you can you can do a pretty good little garden here and i'm not i'm not much of a gardener i think miss um, nurse bark is a better one than i am but um, but you know, I, I have plenty of friends that give me advice. I have a mother-in-law that's a big gardener and she helps me out. And, um, but I thought it'd be fun to kind of experiment in these little squares. You know, they're not away from my main garden here and these are tomatoes. And then I got these new tomatoes. I don't know what they're going to do, but they're called, um, Candyland tomato. They're supposed to be a tomato that tastes like candy. We all know that's kind of a lie. There's no tomato that tastes like a candy, but we could try it, right? So I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna plant that here. I'm a big fan of tomatoes. One of my favorite snacks is the, uh, um, is like tomato and mozzarella and basil. And that's what I have over here on this side is basil and some sweet peppers. So it's pretty fun. Oh, you like my shirt? My mom got me this shirt. She sent it over to me. And my, my, um, my nieces call me Bibi. 
And so, um, my, oh, I think my sister picked this out. I think my sister picked it out. Yeah. So, but, um, yeah, I'm just gardening. It's this beautiful outside today. The breeze is beautiful. And, you know, I hear my neighbor's dog. We're thinking about getting a dog. I'm so excited. It's just, we're just talking about it right now. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and plant my carrots. I'm going to put two carrots in here because they don't need much space because they grow straight down and they sprout straight up. So I just do little holes. You don't have to do, you just do like that much. You don't even have to go very far with carrots. I know fresh basil is awesome because you can put that on mozzarella with um, your pizzas. You can put it on everything. It just tastes so good. There is something about when you plant something that's yours and then you grew it and you made it, it just, and then you, and then you eat it and it's like, it tastes way better. So I was showing earlier how tiny these carrot seeds are. I don't know if you can see with the amount of dirt on my hand, but like, look how little they are. So they don't take a lot. Um, I was saying that that was one of my favorite things is to watch the kids pull out carrots and, um, they loved pulling out those carrots. Miss Bark knows. So thanks, Miss um, Nieto. I miss your dancing. If you guys don't know, Miss Nieto is a great dancer. Um, so is Dr. Davis. Dr. Davis is a great dancer too. So we got some good dancers at Guzik. We usually have, um, after our meetings and big events and stuff, we'll have little dance parties. It's quite fun. You, you know, you miss these things that we did that are, and now that we're all not together, you kind of miss doing those things that are silly. The silly things, right? So. All right, well, I'm done with my carrots and I just wanted to come back on here. I can go, I'm gonna flip the camera so you guys can see my garden so far. Okay. Let me flip this. I don't know how to flip it. Oh, there it is, okay. So over here is where my carrots are gonna be. They're all lined up here. I think I planted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18 carrots. Not too many, but they they have a 60 days. They should be growing, we'll see. Um, over here I got my basil and then some sweet peppers, jalapenos. Um, these mushrooms are from my mom because she knows I love mushrooms. I think they're so silly. Ooh, it's telling me to rotate my camera. There you go. And then these are my tomatoes here. But again, this is just 12 cinder blocks and you line them up and then um, the individual squares here are really fun because then you could do like little seeds like I'm doing or herbs and those. And especially if you have like, like you want to do mint. Mint is like, I was reading up on that. Miss Bark, you'd be so proud. Nurse Bark, you'd be so proud. I was reading up on mint and mint kind of takes over a garden. So these little squares kind of keep them contained. So anything you want that kind of grows out and um, you want to keep it contained so you can do that. But um, so pretty outside. So you guys get outside today and have some fun and I'm gonna finish up here. And I just wanted to go back on because I was like, I wasn't on very, very, very long. So, but I miss you guys. Happy teacher appreciation week. Show your teachers some love. Even if it's just like a text message, we don't care. It just makes our heart better if we get a little smile or, or uh, you know, just, just, acknowledge acknowledgement you know so but just show your teacher some love you know I remember my first grade teacher I'll always remember her because she taught me how to read and she took the time out to do that and so um but uh I remember teachers and and say hi to them and give them some love you don't have to give them anything like money wise they really I mean we honestly we really just we love you guys and we miss you and we want to see your faces so record a video and send it to your teacher so anyways I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.